Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Kyle Can't Game. Welcome back to Jurassic Awakening. Now, today, we are going to go exploring. We are going to have a great adventure. But first, I have done a few things. I, uh, I'll get up on the trike, who's fully grown now. Put down some spike walls just to, uh, just to protect our tribe a little bit. Uh, you know, as you can tell, we probably need to move bases soon because we are outgrowing our space a little bit. Uh, it is actually day six now, so I spent the entire day five off cam mostly taking the trike and farming metal. So we got this, the forge going. We got a bunch of metal in here, like 222. We also went back and got the raptor. He's fully grown now. Stats aren't great, but it she does have the higher melee. So I think I want to keep her, I want to keep her for breeding, even though the other one has super high health. You know, I want to adventure on the, uh, on the high health one. But while we were doing all that, we got uh, a couple black pearls from killing trilobites, which means we can make the advanced spyglass, which I am so excited about. This is, uh, this is a, one of the Jurassic Awakening items, and it is, uh... It's not like the other modded spyglasses, you know, like uh, Awesome Spyglass, Super Spyglass, Nanos, or anything like that. Like, it's not quite that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not quite that, uh, advanced, I guess? This one just shows the HP and the torpor, right? But, it will show torpor, and according to the guys on the Discord, if there is no torpor bar, that means the dino is untamable. Ooh, what is this? Jungle Triceratops. Oh. Okay. Yeah, stuff keeps dying to our spike walls. It's kind of uh, kind of awesome. Free hide, free other stuff. Free things are always good. But so, let's look at this. Here is the plan for today. I want to explore a little bit, like I said. Oh, that map is blurry. Is this map blurry? That map is blurry. Okay, well, I want to go past the mountain where we were, not the mountain so much, the hill kind of, where we were, uh, ooh, look at this herd of trikes, they moved all the way down the beach here. I want to get, oh my god, I just heard my spike trap go off, let's go see what it killed, man. Uh, but yeah, I want to explore a little bit, I want to head west, uh, all the way up the beach west. Oh, little dodo, man. Well, let's uh, harvest the dodo real quick. And yeah, you can see I have been leveling the crap out of this guy. I've got probably 15 or 20 levels. Put them all into health. So his health is almost 3k, which is, I mean, oh, it's just, it's so nice. And then, uh, wait, I got up to 194. So I haven't really touched Stam and Melee. I do want to level this guy pretty hard, because I think this is... I mean, uh, Raptors are so great, especially once we get a pack, but just having this guy... Uh, they move so quick, you know? They're so mobile, it's going to be wonderful. And you can shoot off their backs. You can uh, bola stuff off their backs. Like, it's just... It's really nice. But yeah, we're going to head west. I want to head over west as far as we can, because I feel like... Towards Red Ob, you know, we'll be able to do that classic West Zone 2 spawn uh, note run. Which will obviously be helpful. Because uh, we are now up to level 33. But I want to be higher. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> the higher the better. Uh, but also, I want to level up the Raptor as well. But I want to... I feel like that, that, that area... Right around Red Ob and maybe going, uh, excuse me, sir, ma'am, sorry. Uh, that area right around Red Ob is, you know, not the swamp Redwoods side, but kind of that western coast is probably a place that we can, like, dabble our feet a little bit into danger and just, like, check what else the mod has. Like, the, the grasslands are right there and we can kind of check that stuff out. Um, you know what I just realized? I should have, I should have made a crossbow instead of keeping this bow. Because if we do have, if we see something we want to tame, I want to get it. But yeah, that's okay. Um, 
But yeah, I just think, you know, Carnos spawn over there sometimes. Uh, some other stuff. So, you know, I want to up the danger a little bit while not being completely dumb like normal and losing everything. Uh, you know, the nice thing is now that we're progressed pretty well and we're able to harvest, um, we've got the ability to make backup tools and all that kind of thing. Like, now that we're at smithy level and that kind of thing, uh, I don't. in a way it kind of hurts less if we go out and lose everything because apart from the raptor, most of it's pretty easy to replace. You know, fiber hide wood, some metal, not too shabby. But, uh, yeah, you know, it should be pretty uneventful getting over there, so I'll bring you guys back if there's anything interesting to actually see. Okay, a little Titanoboa. Haven't seen one of these yet. Let's, uh, what level is it? Sandcrawler. Oh, that's not a Titanoboa. That's a mob creature. Okay. Should be easy to kill, right? Will it still drop prime meat? Or what kind of loot will it drop? Oh, level 20. I like it. Dead. No loot bag. Okay. I really do love... We're at South Zone, like South 1 uh, spawn point now. And I really, man, I love the way they reworked this section of the island specifically. Ooh, a drop. Let's go. Let's go get the drop. Also, my game got kind of super laggy really recently. I think it's because it's like that 8... AM like the the rays the sun rays it always happens in the morning and at dusk um, uh, Yeah, we don't have a ton of weight, so I'm just gonna let that stuff be but uh, I feel like at least on the series s which you guys know I play on the Series S, and like part of the reason I bring it up all the time is because I want people on the Series S to know what to expect if they download it on Game Pass, yada yada yada, like some of the console commands, etc. But it's like at 8 o'clock at night and at 8 o'clock in the morning, it's just always like super framey. And I think it's because like light rays are coming through, like sun rays are coming through in a special way. I don't know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but you know what? We should have gone up there to start this note run. Can we get there from here? I mean, I'm sure we can get there from here, but can we do it conveniently? That is the question. All right, Explorer Note number one. If you uh, want to follow me along, you know, there's a couple we could have gotten over there, but they're not like super convenient. So the map is blurry, but we are at 84.1, 29.3. It's right here by this little thing. Uh, this is not traditionally where you would start the West Zone 2 note run, because this would be like West Zone 1 spawn point. Normally started over on that island, but, you know, we're coming at it from this direction, so let's do the note run from this direction, right? Why waste our time when we have so little of it that we get to spend doing what we want, right? I know note runs aren't something PvE people do a lot, which, you know, I, I kind of get. Uh, you know, like people want to struggle along with the game. Uh, you know, this mod is is forcing the struggle enough. I don't need... To, oh, second note. Everybody knows this one, I'm pretty sure. 83.524, it's on this little outcropping, but... Uh, yeah, like, this mod is making the game plenty tough for me. I don't mind doing a note run. I Honestly, I almost always do a note run, because to me... It just makes early game easier, not even to have the engrams so much, just to have like the levels, whether it's weight, stam, uh, HP, movement speed, if you have that enabled on your server, you know, it's just, uh, you know, being higher level is nicer, in my opinion. And this is a uh, single player, so all notes are, well, they're 4x notes in... 4x notes in vanilla arc here i believe that they are 0.5x notes and regular <laughs> yeah and regular notes are 0.25x notes right so yeah but yes traditionally uh let me get stam back real quick actually let's go ahead and put the points into no i want to see we started the note run at 88 on him and 33 on me so let's just do this whole note run it's like 
uh, a dozen notes, maybe. Like, uh, yeah, maybe a dozen notes. Maybe not even that many. I don't really know the full count. There are certainly better Explorer Note guides. Ooh, Raptors. Right? No. I thought there were. Anyway, I'll show you the chords on this one. It's probably the most famous Explorer Note in the game because it's so easy to find, but... 92.5, 22.8. And then we'll pop right up here. This one is the one that used to be on top of the huge rock, and thankfully it is now just right here on the ground. Super easy to get to. People used to have to build, uh, like, thatch structures to get up there. It was always nice when you'd log onto a PvP server and they'd be built already. Next, 92.8, 20.7. So far, these have all been 2x notes, right? And then we'll just follow the... Man, it is Dillo Central here, for real. These Dillos are no joke, man. Should go on a taming spree of Dillos. I have a friggin' army. Uh, but this... Those were all 2x so far. Now, this is the traditional... Or the uh, West Zone 2 4x note. And, like I said, on single player, they're all the same. But on normal servers, that would be a 4x note. And then we will jump right down here. Oops, I did not show you the chords for that one. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to go back up there just to show you the chords. You guys are smart. I think you can figure it out. But you jump down in the water, run down here, and grab this boy. Weave your way through the rocks. This one will be right here. I'll show you the chords this time. 93.6, 18.8. And then we will run back around this little cliff edge. Sometimes you got to be careful, too. Theories can spawn in this area. Like, some pretty dangerous stuff can actually... This is Crags Island, I think. Yeah, this is all considered Crags Island. Can be some pretty dangerous spawns on here. I've seen Alpha Carnos over here, you know. So, it's not, uh, not the safest place. However, it is a very easy starting zone spot. But like I said, part of the reason we came over to this place in general... Is because I want to get a little danger, you know, Austin Powers, I like to live dangerously. That's me, except, you know, I like to live dangerously. I don't like to die repeatedly. And, uh, you know, it's Ark. Fine line there, no doubt about it. Every bad decision you make, Ark will certainly punish you for. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you gotta roll with the punches, man. All right, next note right here at 88.1, 23.3. You turn around, follow this path right up. Follow this path up to the left. You get to the one that's like the little altar or used to be like an altar at the top of the hill. And 88.7, 20.5. Now you follow this path on the left. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's hard to see in person, but you'll see this big rock. Just follow it right down the left, just right over here, and boom, another Explorer note. 88.7, 19.1. And now, I'm sure there's one or two that I've missed. I'm not an Explorer note, or I'm not a note run expert by any means. Um, but if you are, oh, is that a Morellatops? Yeah, okay, cool. If you are on an unofficial PvP server, right? XP is probably 4x, 5x, 10x, whatever. I mean, on a 4x server, you're probably level like 70 already. And, you know, you don't... You, that, that gets you some things you want. On official, just the part that I've already done will probably... I think if I remember right, it gets you up to like 54 or something. Maybe 55. And then there's what? Uh, one, two, three more I'm going to show you. That on official would get you up to like 70. And on most like boosted servers, most PvP servers, it'll get you up to like 80. And then at that point, notes, just grabbing the notes themselves is a pretty ineffective way of leveling. Because the amount of XP that you need per level 
is uh, larger than what you can gain just by getting the notes. So, you know, at that point, you don't have any... Uh, you don't have any berries or spoiled meat to turn into narco berries. You know, you, you don't have enough crafted to make up a, a crap load of rafts, you know. Uh, you know, all those other XP things, like doing an extinction note run and making crafting a thousand canoes, like you see guys like Zavi do. You know, those are great ways to do it because after, ah, uh, man, like mid-70s, like level mid-70s, the XP you get from just getting the notes is like pretty, pretty bare. And that's why those guys all go craft, you know, but so this is, if we, if we think we like it, I think we might want to live around here. Um, let me, I'll keep doing the note run and then we'll do the exploration, you know, up the side or whatever. But, um, you know, I love these waterfalls. I love waterfalls in general, but, you know, I love these waterfalls especially. It can be quite dangerous in this area. I mean, like, I know I keep saying that, but, like, it it, it really can be quite dangerous in this area. Like, Therese, just up here, tons of Cardo spawns, tons of Therese spawns, tons of stronger Raptor spawns, you know, just a little bit into the woods, and you're getting Rexes. Um... Next note, 82.2, 15.7. And we'll come up here. But, like, I love this area. I love both of these waterfalls. The bases are fantastic. Uh, I love this area up here. Where the, I don't know, the lake, the pond, the whatever, like, straight up here right there like i love i love this base area so much man like this is super cool uh let's see note right here 79 16.6 and there's only one more that i know for a fact that we'll we'll get right now cuz i do want to get up more of the coast and uh a little bit into the grasslands and just see and then I also want to see, um, I'm going to stop at the obelisk and just see, ooh, Trike City, lordy, 140, good god, man, what's your torpor like there, bud? 2335, that doesn't seem as high as I would have thought. Uh, now I lost my spot, hang on, I got it. I know how to get to these notes from other notes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let me do that. Let me get back here. Uh, so that's the one note. Jump right across here. We'll come up this way. Nope. We'll come up this way. We'll keep following this around just a little bit to the right. Ooh, what are you guys killing? What you killing? Oh, it's just a dillo. I thought you were going to have something cool to show me. Stupid trikes. Alright, and then right here is the last note that we're going to do on this run. So, a 78, 19.2. There you have it. That'll get you... Well, let's see. It got, <laughs> it got us two levels. You gotta be... You gotta be shitting me, man. <laughs> Look at... Two levels. Oh my god, that is hysterical. Alright, well, let's get one more level into here. Let's get weight up to over 200. Okay. Um, Stam, let's get it up to... Yeah, let's get it up to 500 here. And then rest into damage. All those levels were not even at the melee that the Elder Raptor was to start with. That's okay. That is quite alright. Now I'm going to head over to Red Ob. Sorry, I don't know if I interrupted myself, uh, which I tend to do, you know, lose track of what I'm saying. But I want to head over to Red Ob and uh, we'll see. I don't know if they've done any work on bosses yet. I don't think, honestly, <laughs> I'm. if anybody in the uh, Jurassic Awakening Discord or anybody that plays Jurassic Awakening is watching this, feel free to correct me, but I don't think anybody that plays this mod has gotten to the point of fighting bosses yet.
But I'm just curious. I don't know if they've done anything to customize that experience. I know they have plans to make it like absolutely ridiculous, but uh, I don't know if they've done it yet. So I want to go check out the requirements and just see what we can see. Okay, so it looks like the only boss of oh wait no never I'm an idiot. I was like the only boss is uh, the dragon, but I forgot this is single player, so you know it can only uh, it can, you have to go to each individual obelisk. Now why is it say an arc item slots one out of fifty? Who put mutton in the obelisk on my pri on my private world? That's uh, that is strange to say the least. But thank you for the donation of mutton, whomever. It was it was probably me. I don't know how I would have done it, but it was probably me considering it's single player. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's keep going up a little bit. And like I said, I want to venture just a little bit. Just a little bit into, like, these areas up here. You know, because I know that there's a bunch of scary stuff, and I don't want to die, but I I do want to be scared, and I do want to play the mod, and I do want to see what... I don't just see, you know? There's a Dillo and a Fiomia, so, like, you know, been there, done that, bro. Um, yeah, I feel like up at the top... Ooh, another explorer note. Let me... I don't... I didn't even know this one was here. Uh, 81.9, 10.7. There you go. Oh, that's a May... Or a Nerva note. Cool. Yeah, let's keep going up. I know that, like, up on this hill... Oh! Oh, snap! Oh, no. What level is that, dude? It's a lion level 50. I mean, we gotta try it, right? Dude. And we got a piece of mutton back there? Okay. I hope you pass out. Come on, baby. Pass out. Don't die. Pass out. I should not have made a... Or I should have made the crossbow. Guaranteed. Oh, this is so hard on console to, do, to to aim while you're running. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, thank God I fell in the water. That could have been really freaking bad, man. Well, if we can make it back up to that dude, we will, uh... We'll sh we should be able to bowl him again, at least. And when we bowl him, we can see how high his torpor got. So, that's cool. A lion. Hmm. Looked like a saber tooth to me. I don't know. And saber teeth were tigers, weren't they? I mean, guys, come on. They're to totally different felines. Uh, uh, oh man, I will say, so Ark, the last couple updates, you know, the one with the stupid paid club and the stupid Power Rangers thing, and I'm sorry, like, I don't get the Power Rangers thing, but I know that there are tons of you out there who are probably just absolutely stoked about it. And I say more power to you. Like, it doesn't hurt does not hurt me in any way for you to have the option to play the game with Power Ranger skins if you want to. But, you know, just all the monetization stuff, I just, I don't know, I feel feel a certain way about it, you know? But, uh, anyway, the game has been getting more and more stable for me. Like, it really has, which is just, it's lovely to see Thorny Dragon, don't care about you. Where did my lion go? So the only, uh, the only commands I've had to use lately are, are, uh, cloud and fog. Obviously that's, that's, I don't think that's ever going to go away. And then I've been using a grass size scale 0.5, you know, not, uh, zero 
or disable or whatever the command was that I used to do all the time. So like, you know, it's still running pretty well, even with that stuff slightly disabled. Should we just take out that, that dragon? I want to find that lion, man, because I put so many arrows into it. You know, it's probably is or was close to knocking out. I mean, it was almost, it was close to dying. I know that. It was, <laughs> it was very bloody. Um, well, let's see. We'll go back towards this thorny dragon. Or is this towards it? I don't know. I, I don't know. Guys, why do you ask me things I don't know? The list of things I don't know is so long. And the list of things I do know is so small. Ooh, yeah, you're going down, bud. You're so bloody. Let's get you. Let's get you. Let's get you down. Okay, you're doing a lot of damage. Ooh, I got, uh, hide boots, I think. Ooh. Primitive reinforced hide boots. All right. I'll take that. Let's check it out. Well, my other boots are bone, aren't they? Yeah, I got them bone boots, bruh. All right. Where is this friggin' lion, dude? Dodo, where's the lion? What level is Stego? 106. Wait, sorry. <laughs> That's, that's me. <laughs> that's like, strong jungle raptor? That's a crazy stego, man. Oh, boy. The brain some days. Let's be honest. The brain most days does not work that well. All right. I was up in this area, right? I know it probably wouldn't have returned to the place it was running away from, but... Come on, man. Level 50 lion would have been dope. Get out of here. Um, let's see. Yeah, because I came right up here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. It was over here. There are so many dillos. What is going on? Okay, let's take a break real quick, put some points in here. Let's go more damage, man. I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, and I got more mutton from the, uh, I got, oh, and I got a level. I got more mutton from the, from that thorny dragon. So now if we could find something to knock out, that would be perfect. All right, well, you know what? It was a level 50 lion. I'm sure we can come across another or something better, or maybe not. I don't know, but I'm going to keep moving. Iguanodon? Yellow. Jungle Iguanodon. What's What's been killing the Iguanodon? Ooh, that Iguanodon has a baby. I'm so far away from home, though. Not going to do it. Excuse me, sir. You know what I should really be looking for oop, is uh, is a male raptor. <laughs> you know, getting an imprinted one with amazing stats, that would be uh, even better. So, man, this jungle is thick, boy. Like, thick with eight C's on it. Good lord. You can't... Oh, what is... Trikes taking down something. What are you guys fighting? Oh, a raptor. Okay, well. Oh, there's one of the little baby sarcos. And let's see if it has a torpor bar. It does not. That's how you know it's not tameable. Well, if I had had this thing a few days ago in game, could have saved myself about 100 trank arrows, you know? Oh, well. Live and learn. That is the fun part about... All this stuff we're doing. So yeah, let's head up here. You know, this area in Vanilla Arc 
is a great spot to tame PTs. And I would not mind getting a flyer today at all, because we're level 36. There is another note right up here. We're level 36. If the Tranodon saddle still unlocks at level 38... Hmm, now I'm thinking maybe we should do some of that. Something like that. Ah, I'm stuck. Uh, but where's that note? Maybe it's further down here. I don't know, man. Like I told you guys, I don't know the notes that well. I know, like, the 12 that gets me where I need to be on the, uh... On the boosted servers I used to play on, and that's about it. I do know, though... Well, there's this one up here. Yeah, so the other one is... Ooh. Jungle pack. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's pull of these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no! I can't hit him with the bolas! I suck at bolas! Okay, well, let's... Let's run a little bit. <laughs> well, that's a female one. They're as fast as I am. But they can't jump. Now, can they? No, you can't, stupid raptors. You can... Okay, what level is this one? Or... Male jungle raptor. Perfect. So let's... Ah, wrong button. I want to get him. Let's get her dead first. Yeah, we can get her dead real quick. There we go. There we go. Now where... Where'd you go, bud? Hello, you were just right here. We took out your girlfriend. You don't care? Really? Let's head back up to where this note is. Maybe it just came up this way. Oh, there we go. It's trying to take out a bunch of Dillos. Is it going to win? It did not. Um, well, <laughs> you know, it happens. Uh, other note is right over here. 64.1, 15.4. And then, so where are we technically? Southern Jungle. What's this? I saw something running. That is an enormous Dillo. Can you ride that freaking thing? Holy crap. What's, what's biting me? Oh, all the titan... Ooh, Trudons. No thanks, man. Actually, I wonder if a Trudon would give us a lot of XP. Come on. Go down before you knock me out. Please go down. Or XP... Not really any XP, and it didn't drop a... It did not drop a... Loot bag. That stinks. Now let's head up to the top of this hill. There's a raptor. Female strong, okay. Grassland pack. But are you male or female? I guess we'll find out in a second. Ah! Hey, come on. No, don't be doing that to me. That hurts, man. Oh, and it's a strong, so it's got a lot of health. Oi. This should definitely drop a loot bag, though, right? No loot bag on that one, either. Oh, and I'm out of... What all do I need for bolas, man? Fiber, stone, hide, and thatch. Well, that shouldn't... I've got a ton of hide in here. Alright, one bola crafting. Now let's... Where did that other raptor go? Why do these guys keep running away so far? Oh, you know what? Uh, also, in the last update, they added a Dillo saddle, which is not really a saddle. 
You still can't ride them. But it's meant, uh, it's a Dillo armor piece. So it looks like a saddle, but it's just meant to give the Dillos some protection, some armor. Which I think is great, because, like, I didn't use my Dillo at all, obviously. Here's the one we're going for, I think. Oh, it's an Ovis? Oh, dude. Wait, why are all the Ovis fighting back? Oh, because they have babies. Okay. Well, let's see how much mutton we get off this thing. Oh, that's a lot of mutton. Oh my god, that's a lot of mutton. And now we can cook mutton, too. Uh, let's get this raptor dead. Let's see if we get a loot bag at all. Man, so much resources. Holy crap. 53 pelt and all the mutton. Damn. Okay, let's keep going. Um, melee. I don't want those. I just, I, I don't want those babies. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. I'm sorry. If you think I'm dumb for not taming it, I don't like. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, there's no way to get them home. I'm so far away from home. You know, we'll just... It'd be a waste. Speaking of home, I'm going to start heading back that way. Dude, Ovis are everywhere in this area. That's awesome. Where even are we? Oh, okay, we're not that. So we're almost like right on the other side of those waterfalls. Okay. No, you know what? There is another place I wanted to check for... See what it would be like if we were to move there. More raptors. Yeah, there we go. We're going the right way. Cool. Alright, here we go. Another white drop. What you got for me? 15 metal? Shoot, I'll take that, man. Alright, let's keep moving. We're almost to the spot I want to check out for the base. This is some pretty cool spots too, though. Like, this hill is very cool. If you don't know where we are... 57 and 9. But I want to get right up here. It's not very far. There's like two two spots. Because one is... This little cliff ledge. Which... Let me through, please. Which I want to check out. And then the waterfall just past that. I love both those spots for bases. So we'll check it out. After we kill these copies. Yeah, this ledge is a great base spot but it's definitely in ASE this was like perfectly flat you know and so it was cool it's definitely not that flat in uh in ASA so maybe not I mean it's just it just wouldn't be the easiest build and you know I'm not looking to struggle with just building something <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I suck at building to start with you know Having the terrain make it even harder doesn't sound like, like a great idea for me. Although we'll check out this waterfall up here. Because I do love this waterfall as well. Now, this is all way different than it used to be, but I think that's all basically flat, at least. But this is a very, very cool area, man. It's just awesome. It's so awesome. And it's like very easy to get to the redwoods because you've got a little path that goes there. You know, the snow biomes right here. Like this is just a great, great base area. It really is so good. And then you know what? I may come to regret this. And I don't think I've ever said that in ARC. And not... <laughs> <laughs> Not had it come true. So I may live to regret this. Or I may die to regret this, technically. But we're going to head over to the mosh pit. I don't want to fight anything. I just want to come along the southern side of it. And just see what it's about in this mod. Like, is it pure chaos? I would imagine. Almost everything else is. Why wouldn't that be, you know? Tons of dino spawns down here. Ooh, lordy. 
You know, it doesn't look too crazy right now, honestly. It's uh, almost all Ankies and... What is this? Tons of Hyenodons? Look at all the Ankies. Good God, man. It, it's just Ankies everywhere. Mountain Ankylo, level 100. Mountain Ankylo, level 100. Level 120, Lord Almighty. Did these Hyenodons drop a bunch of bags? That could be kind of cool. Oh, that's a baby Hyenodon. Ooh, should I get that? Uh, I, no. We're just too far away from base, man. Alright, what level are you? 130? One ninety? Oh snap, dude. Let me let me take this one out, see what happens. <laughs> I just wanna kill one. I wanna kill one. Because that guy Shh. Yeah, that got us levels for sure. No bag, nothing special. Okay, well, we'll run away. Cause, you know, Ankies, you might be strong and everything, but I I have a pretty distinct feeling you're not going to be able to catch me, you know? But man, that's cool. We know, holy crap, do we know where to look when we need to find an Anki? Which, you know, who knows? Could be next episode. You don't know. I don't know. Actually, do I have Raft unlocked yet? Did they take it out in this mod? 42. Wow. Yeah, they definitely changed some stuff <laughs> around on that. Well, very cool. Well, you know what, guys? It's getting kind of late in the day. I'm going to head back to base. We're going to call it there today. Uh, you know, it might not seem like we got a lot done. You know, it's not like we went out with an objective of taming this or getting that or whatever. But, like, I don't. today was a blast, man. Like, it, just exploring the island, seeing all the different spawns, thinking about where I want to build. Like, all of it, man. And, and you know, sometimes... Not to sound crazy, but sometimes the point of playing a video game is is just to have fun. And, uh, you know, today was one of those days. Like, it really was. It was a blast for me. Um, you know, I hope it wasn't boring for you guys. I hope it was entertaining for you, because I really did have fun just running around all of the island. Like, playing this mod just, I don't know, man. It makes me, makes me so nostalgic for, like, when I was fresh to Ark, because it's like... It's like something I know and I'm familiar with very well, which is Ark, but just so brand new and so different and I don't know, man. I'm I freaking love this mod. And you know, now that we are You know, I kept talking in the early episodes about progression and that kind of thing and how there are so many different tiers and it like takes away the tedium and like I now that we're progressing, like actually making forward progress, I totally feel that. Like, I, you know, it, the game should be, it should be hard to harvest stuff when you have a basic stone tool. And, you know, now that we have metal tools, the harvesting rates don't seem as bad. And, like, once you have a mount and you can just kill stuff willy-nilly, the levels start to come pretty easily. And, you know, like, even in that sense, just... You know the progression is great and it, and it's nice to see those mid-tier tools versus vanilla where it's like okay i have to i i'm using a stone pick and a stone hatchet and they are so terrible and i have to progress as fast as i can to the metal one so that i can get decent rates but like here you've got this the stone the scrap metal the metal the forged I don't know if there's anything past this for harvesting, you know, but I know we're going to find out. I know I am going to be playing this mod, you know, until this save file corrupts, like like always seems to happen on, uh, on Arc single player. I will be playing this mod until my game doesn't allow me to anymore. So yeah, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, please check out the mod on CurseForge. I'm not affiliated in any way. I'm just very much in admiration uh and uh have a ton of respect for the work they're doing so yeah 
Anyway, check it out on Curse Forge. Please, if you want to see more, uh, if you want to see how the progression goes, drop a like, leave a, or, yeah, drop a like, leave a comment, uh, feel free to subscribe, it would mean a whole lot to me, the channel is, uh, progressing nicely, you know, we're up to, like, almost 175 subscribers, which doesn't seem like much, but considering I thought nobody in the world would give a crap about watching me play the game, it feels like a lot, and it's very much appreciated, so yeah, now I am very much rambling, so I will say what I always say, which is, if you made it this far, I very much appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.